I'm here in front of this old house that I bought on the weekend. So I'm a homeowner now. Well, we'll see. I, I got to get a home. In, I mean, I did the negotiating over the weekend. Um, and so I just have to get a home inspector in. And if he tells me that the foundation is good, because inside, I can't go inside today, so you won't be able to see the inside, but it's a dump. It's not livable. There's so much. Yeah, it's just disgusting. I mean, not disgusting. You could live in it, but I wouldn't. Um, basically, it would require completely gutting the place and starting from scratch again. So what I need to know, I mean, technically, I own the place now. We, I put my deposit down. We um, dickered back and forth on the price over the weekend, and we closed it last night. Um, but yeah, it's it's conditional on what the home inspector comes up with. So if the foundation's good and the the structure of the house itself is good, then I have, you know, I've I used to own with my ex-wife, I used to own a hundred year old home and most of my life there was renovating. So I have the experience and the artistic finesse. Is that a word? But anyways, um, so th this will be an interesting project. It was something that I really needed. But what I really love about this place, the house is, is a dump. But, it, you know, it's my dump now. And uh, so I'm kind of feeling good about that because, pri you know, up until now I've been renting and um, living in an apartment. And I really want a my own garden and everything like what I had before. Like, for example, t show the, the, those are cherry trees. I've got three of them. So we're looking at lots of cherries in the summer. The, the, the previous owner was an avid gardener and had an uh, organic vegetable garden in the back. We'll go back there now. By the way, this home is in Oshawa, which is a little ways out from Toronto, but I'm close to the main road, Kingston Road, so it's a straight line out. I've actually rode my bike out here on a couple of occasions. And uh, so I'm still, you know, I'm not out of the city. I am out of the city, but I'm in the greater Toronto area. What I like about this place is it has a real country feel to it. Um, so I kind of feel like I feel this house is more like a cottage and I kind of feel like I'm in the country to some degree. But yet if I just go up the road, I can get on the main highway and head into Toronto. No big deal. And then on the other end, you know, and, and that's basically my kids. They live in Toronto. Um, on the other side, I have my grandkids who live in Bowmanville. And so I'm kind of in the middle now, which is kind of cool. Now, I won't be living here probably for the next few years. I still got to stay in Toronto. My kid, my, uh, my other kids, Rachel and Russell, they still need me there. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to drop the ball in that department. But uh, so I probably will hang out here on the, the weekdays and then the weekends that I don't have my kids and... Um, do work around here and then in a few years I'll be ready to move in maybe in the meantime I might rent out some of the space I don't know I haven't decided yet. But pretty nice size backyard you know it's about 200 feet long and uh, there's a vegetable garden let's take a look at the vegetable garden there's a little greenhouse there greenhouse it's just a plastic wrap kind of thing here's a the garden and there's more garden on that side and then there's an apple tree right there uh, so yeah I mean this is awesome for someone like like myself who you know I just love being able to pick my own fruit in season and uh, have my own vegetable garden and, and this is a nice size but when I get when I have the time I will definitely expand the whole like I'll have a, like a little farm back here basically be growing a lot of stuff more than what I'll be able to eat myself so where this all is going to lead I don't know but it's exciting it's gonna be a challenge it's gonna keep me busy but it'll be fine it's what an old man like me needs so this is it my new homestead ciao